Almost the entire fleet of Naples public transport system remained in the parking lot Wednesday because public transport company Azienda Napoletana Mobilità, ANM, is no longer able to pay for diesel. In an official note, ANM said that a reduced number of buses began morning routes on Wednesday but were forced to return when their tanks ran low. As a result, public servants were not able to take the bus to work, many kids could not get to school and the elderly could not buy groceries. It is a matter of poor housekeeping with public funding and taxpayers' money. There was nothing similar to the present situation even in post-World War II Italy. According to the local public transport authorities, after state and regional budget cuts, the contributions it receives to pay salaries, to perform the maintenance of vehicles and facilities, to pay tax contributions and insurance, and buy diesel, have been reduced by over 40%. There have been enormous delays in public payments in the range of 300 million euros due to severe difficulties in state and local funding. We owe money to fuel companies, but we can't pay because Italy's austerity program has cut municipal funds and raised fuel taxes. Furthermore, high level of fare evasion are making it all more difficult. And as usual, some politicians are trying to exploit the situation in their favor. On Thursday, the transport situation seemed to have returned to normal, although Neapolitans complained about huge delays at bus stops. When is the bus arriving? Nobody knows. Yesterday I could not take the bus because the service was discontinued. Who has to be held accountable? There are less buses on the road. I'm really unhappy with how things are going lately. A Naples businessman has offered to pay for diesel fuel to keep the buses running in his neighborhood. Once again, problems that Italy's public administrations should deal with are left to individuals to solve on their own. Max Civili, Press TV, Naples.